Hey guys, so first try. Let's talk about Byron first strike North America. It was a pretty good first strike. The casters were decent. Uh, I think Sean cashed it pretty good, especially the guy who was with Sean. The, they both cashed it pretty good and it was pretty pleasurable to watch. And I think Valorant for sure finals was probably the best tournament to watch compared to previous tournaments so far. I titled this video stating that Valorant for Strike is flawed. Basically, in this current situation in the pandemic, we are supposed to, uh, we, can, we can host tournaments online. And that, my friends, is a big flaw in every tournament right now. The online hosting of tournaments has a major problem that organizers are ignoring because they have no other choice. They can't uh, conduct it offline. I'll get to the problem in a minute. Playing online, even in normal matches, has ping, right? This results in peaker's advantage. Now there's two types of peaker's advantage. One is the natural peaker's advantage where a peaker usually has an advantage over a defender through pre-firing angles, pre-aiming angles, etc. Uh, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the network peaker's advantage. Now I know most of you guys know what is peaker's advantage, but you don't know what exactly it, uh, I mean, how exactly it works. You see, peaker's advantage is not equal to the peaker's ping. This is a misconception. People think that if you have a high ping, if you peak, you have the advantage equal to your ping. That is incorrect. I have made a video explaining exactly how Pico's Advantage works and what all things goes through Pico's Advantage. I will link the video in the description. Pico's Advantage applies for every single video game in this uh, world. And you better check the video out if you want to know exactly how it works. But the basic thing is, if you are a peaker in, uh, in network analysis, you will always have the advantage as long as the defender has something. Your ping does not matter at all. So Pika's advantage uh, is equal to the defender's ping. It's not equal to the attacker's ping. You can check the video in the description. It will show you exactly why. I brought this point up because right now, we are hosting tournaments online, right? It's not offline. So ping does play a major impact, even though you don't think it does. Having 20 to 30 ping does have a major impact, in, especially in the pro scene. I'll tell you exactly why. You see, in for Valorant First Strike Finals, uh, let's talk about quarterfinals, the match against T1 and 100 Thieves, both T1 and 100 Thieves had a ping which was less than 20 and greater than 15. This means that any uh, person who is peaking the defender would have 20 milliseconds extra advantage in terms of uh, reactions. Now you may think that 20 milliseconds advantage is not big, but in small fractions it does play a major role. I'll tell you why. The thing is, currently if you see 100 Thieves, they have a pretty good ping, it's quite low. T1 has a good ping as well, quite low. But if you see 100 Thieves versus the TSM in the finals, the ping is quite high for some players and low for others. This is quite bad. I'm not sure exactly why there's a sudden shift in ping. Did 100 Thieves... Uh, we know that 100 Thieves were sitting in the same room, so they should be having the same ping, but they don't. So I don't know what exactly is going on. Is Valorant's routing system bad? It needs to be improved. It's up to the devs to know. Let's get that aside. The fact is right now that these teams have variable pings, right? This is a huge deal because if you see here, this video describes some re reaction times of CSGO pro players. Anyway, you can see that the reflexes are around the range of two, uh, 150 to two, uh, 300. So there is a very high likely chance that two pro players all have almost similar uh, average uh, reflexes. Let's assume, let's assume that two pro players have reflexes of 250 milliseconds. So the, it, it's an average uh, time, by the way. Reflexes usually vary with situation to situation. But let's assume for a given situation, both teams have 250 milliseconds reaction time. Having 50 milliseconds reaction time extra for the person who's speaking, this is a big advantage in these scenarios because a person who can react faster has a higher chance to land that headshot before the other person does. And this it's a big deal. As a guy with high ping, defending is a very big task, a very hectic task. And when you have ping involved, that plays a major role. Having 20 milliseconds reflex difference wouldn't be a huge deal in paper, but it can still play a small role. There may have been situations in the tournament where 20 milliseconds reflex uh, re reaction difference because of the ping advantage may have played a role in getting that headshot and every single kill in this game is a major kill. This is not common to just the finals. In quarterfinals, there are some matches where uh, players have pretty high ping. 
Um, you can see this match here, FaZe versus Sentinels, they have 30 ping, almost everyone, everybody has around 30 ping. This means a pro player who's trying to peak a defender will always have a 30 seconds, 30 milliseconds advantage. This does play a huge role. Suppose you have a reaction time of 250 milliseconds for a given situation. It's an example. The, uh, and, the and the peaker who is peaking you has a 280 milliseconds res uh, response time. This means that if he peaks you, you should be having the 30 milliseconds additional uh, bonus re uh, reaction time. So you should be able to take the uh, shot first. But because of your ping, that may be re resulting in a weird 1v1 duel. Future tournaments should be avoided to be conducted online because having a slight advantage in reaction times can have a huge um, impact in the pro level player where every pro player has quite fast reflexes. And that's why I think that Valorant First Strike Finals is slightly flawed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would really like to know your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace.